Hey basketball players, today if you are a center, this video is for you. In this video, we're going to be talking about five drills that you can do as a center if you're stuck at home and you only have a driveway and a basketball net. Let's get down to it. This first drill is the squat jump drop step. So then what we're going to do is we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to then go down into a squat, keeping the basketball tight to our chest, jumping up and then doing a drop step down towards the basket. Now, if you have enough room on either side of your basket, you can do the same on either side by just doing a simple squat jump and then a drop step. However, if you don't have enough room on either side and you only have enough room in the middle, this is still a great drill for you to do. What this is imitating is if somebody passes you the ball too high, and you're in the post, now you've got that ball, and all you wanna do is a simple move. The drop step is a ridiculously simple move for you to do. So let's check out this drill. Now the next drill that I'm gonna give you is a simple post move that you can use in game. However, you don't necessarily have to use this move, but I would say practice any of your post moves. And then if you're stuck at home during this coronavirus stuff that we're going through right now, go through your whole list of post moves every single day and then learn new ones. So let's check out this first drill or this first move that I'm gonna teach you. And that is a one dribble spin move. So you go one dribble, so you can even make it look like you're in game, and you can go through, you can swipe through, one dribble, that's your pivot foot, you can turn one, two, and up. You can go like a regular shot, or you can turn it into more like a baby hook, or a fadeaway jump shot. You can do this on either side, you can also do this coming from the front, you can go bang, and then up. Now the next drill I'm gonna give you is using wrist weights. Now, I wouldn't go super heavy. I do have 10 pound and 15 pound wrist weights, but you don't necessarily need to go that heavy. This is a simple two pound wrist weight. And this is great for younger players, but also for older players as well. So what you're gonna do, obviously put it on your wrist. It's just an extra two pounds on your wrist. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna make your arm work even harder and why are we using this the reason is is we're going to be practicing our post moves but wrist with a wrist weight you can use one wrist weight or you can use two wrist weights why is this effective it's because now you're imitating having a defender hacking your arm or holding your arm down so you can still practice all of your moves with that wrist weight on you can even practice taking a jump shot with the wrist weight on and what this is imitating especially with the lower weight it's a lot better for you because you're going to be able to go even longer and even more post moves and shots is because now you're going to be able to go and attack a rim you can do one dribble attack moves where you can go and say swipe through and go for your whatever mid post or low post move is and this is going to help your body work even harder but also it's going to help you control your body a little bit more especially when you get back into games and of course there's going to be players who are hanging off you because they're not going to be in the same shape as you are because you've been putting in the work while everyone's off on coronavirus break i'm going to call it the extended summer break now this next drill or exercise that i'm going to give you is going to imitate uh, basically going down low to pick up a pass and what I mean by this is if you're a center you're gonna know what I'm talking about and that is you always sometimes get a pass from some of your your guards that are super low and you really need to go after them to get them they're never right where you really want them they're never right up at that hand and where you can actually do something with the ball so 
The other reason for this is, let's say there's a loose ball and it's like way down on the ground. You can go pick it up and just take a shot right away and go up with that shot. Now with this drill, you don't want to go and pick up the ball and then go for a few dribbles. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is pick up that ball and just do a simple up and under or, oh, I should have made that or something similar to that. So let's get down to a few moves that you can do. So when you go down, you wanna keep your shoulders back. So there's the simple up and under. There's also just the pickup and then the shot. Make sure to really learn how to use that backboard. And then there's also the baby hook where you can pick it up, turn and do a baby hook. So even though you don't have a ton of room, you can still practice different exercises and different drills that will come in handy when you get back to playing basketball. Now this next drill is called stationary shooting or form shooting. So what you're gonna wanna do is start really close to the rim. There's a lot of centers who just, they don't think they need to shoot and now they're getting to the age, maybe in high school where maybe they're not growing as tall or maybe they're finding out that, hey, centers actually have a really big purpose when it comes to shooting a three-point shot. Now, when you're younger, this is even better. When you're older, it's still good, and that is just form shooting. And what you're gonna be doing here, getting an inch away from the rim and practicing your form, trying to get that perfect swish. Now, you can go for, let's say, 10 perfect swishes in a row, and I don't mean just barely touching rim, I mean a perfect swish. So a perfect swish like that, get 10 of those, take a few steps back, do the exact same thing. Trying to get that perfect swish, making sure that that ball is going off that middle finger so you can have a straight shot but you just want to have that perfect swish. Try to, if you hit the back of the rim, try to get more arc on that shot. If you hit the front of the rim, try to get more legs on your shot. And then move your way back to the free throw line, which is 15 feet from the backboard. And you want to go for 10 of these in a row. See, I'm much better of a free throw shooter than I am an actual close in shooter. And I've always been like that. Always. That's a uh, swish. And then if you've got room, I don't, but if you've got room, you can shoot some three point shots and you just keep on building yourself back. And then if you're still able to stay with your actual form and not have to change it to chucking it up somehow, that's when you can start going back into Curry range, NBA range and farther, and then keep on building yourself back. This is a drill that you should be doing every single day because every single team wants to have a three point shooter or a whole team full of three point shooters, whether you're a center or a guard. I hope that this video has helped you become a better center while you're stuck at home. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.